Hello, I am Mr. Fixit from ES Repair. In my previous video, I've shown you how Winx DVD Ripper Platinum can help you rip your DVDs into a digital format so you can watch them on your computer, on your cloud. Um, it comes in very handy. It's a great way to back up your DVDs and just watch your DVDs from the cloud instead of having to risk scratching up your DVDs. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how to set it up and how to begin ripping your DVDs. Now, the first thing you'll see is when you first start it up, you're going to see that you're in the trial version. Now, the trial version does have limitations, but if you need the full functionality out of the software, what you'll need to do is purchase the full license to the WinX DVD Ripper Platinum do that, look up here in the upper right where you see register, you're going to see this window pop up. And you're going to see that this is going to be a trial version. Now what you can do, it gives you the option to buy. Uh, if you want to go ahead and buy it, you can. Uh, then it shows you that they will give you a key code to enter. Down here you will enter your email address that you used when you purchased the software. And then you will enter your license key. Once you're finished, click Activate. Once you have registered the software, you'll notice that the register icon has now disappeared. It's no longer there. Uh, if you go up here and choose Options, here you can choose your uh, default audio language. Uh, you can choose the um, if it opens the output folder when it's finished doing the conversion. Uh, if you wanted to shut down the computer, you could put a check mark here, and each time the, the computer or the software is finished, it will go ahead and shut down your computer. Uh, here, you can choose the output folder. Uh, this is going to be the folder that all your conversions will be saved to. Snapshot folder. Uh, this is the folder where all your snapshots will be saved. Uh, this here will allow you to be notified when they have a new version. Uh, you also have uh, the option over here to change the options, or if you want to, you can open the location. When you're finished, click Done. Now, keep in mind, this software will not uh, rip Blu-ray discs. That's just a standard DVD ripper. Uh, if you were to put a Blu-ray disc in a drive, now you'll see right here where it says Warcraft. Uh, this is the Blu-ray that I have in the drive right now. And then you, you could choose cancel, uh, choose OK. It's going to try to read a disc, but because it's a Blu-ray, this software does not have the ability to read those types of discs. Once you have a DVD inst uh, loaded, uh, you go up here, click Disc. You're going to see the window pop up. It's going to show the title of the video, which in this case is going to be The Goonies. Yes, I know, it's a classic video. Uh, down here, you don't have to worry about it. Just leave it on Auto Detect and then choose OK. It's going to read the disc and load the titles. Next, you're going to see the output profile. Now, this is what the software wants to know, what profile you want to use to convert your DVD. And as you can see, there's a different... Uh, formats that you can use. Uh, recently used profiles, this is the ones that you've used previously, uh, which you can have instant access to. Once you have selected your um, video format that you want, you're going to see it highlighted in blue. You're going to see the name of the format, the codecs that it's going to be using, which in this case is going to use MPEG-2 and MP2 as a video and audio codecs, respectively. Uh, it's going to show you the resolution that it's going to be using, which means it's going to use the original resolution that the video is recorded. Uh, over here to the right, you're going to see the quality. Now, this is the type of quality that you want the video to be in when it's completed. Now, if you want a fast conversion, you can move it over to the left, but it's going to have a lower quality video to it. Uh, if you want higher quality, then you can use higher quality to the right. Now it's going to take longer, but you will get a higher quality output of that video when it's completed. Once you have your uh, selection made, 
go down here and choose OK. Next, we have the list of the titles that were detected on the disk. On the right, on the left, you have the chat box. Uh, each box that has a chat box in it will be the one that's going to be ripped. Now, the software automatically determines which one is the main title. Now, if you're using like TV shows, or in some cases, you will come across a DVD that says 99 titles. Uh, a lot of that would be the way they use to copy protect a DVD. Now, there are ways to go around those. And if I can find the one I have here, I'll show you. Now, TV shows, I will show you how to do those. Those are a little bit different, but I will show you how they work, how to do those too as well. Uh, here it shows you the type, the time that it begins, the time that it ends, the frame that it's in. This shows the 16 by 9, uh, which indicates widescreen. Uh, you also see some that says 4 by 3. That means it's in standard of full screen mode. And that is just how the video is recorded. Next, you have the audio codec that was used and the channels that are present. Uh, any subtitles that you want, or you can add your subtitles, you'll have the option here. And here you also have the option to edit. Here you have detected main title, which is title 1. Uh, how many of them that's going to be ripped? It currently is set to 1. Now if you have multiple videos that you want to merge into one single video, then you can select merge titles and it will merge all those videos selected into one video. Here you have the target. Uh, here it shows you the format that it's going to be using. The output file is the name of the file once it's completed. Now you can also set tags. Um, if you want to change the name of the file, uh, if you want to uh, enter information about the video such as the artist, genres, uh, any information you want to type in about the movie, you can. Once you've completed this, just click OK. Next you have the profile that it's going to be using. Now if you need to fine tune it, uh, you can click on, this, on the gear icon and this will bring up the box here to where you can fine tune the uh, ripping software. Here you'll see the codec that's going to be used. Some formats have multiple codecs that you can use. Uh, you also show the bit rate. Uh, the higher the bit rate, the better the quality, but the larger the file. Uh, frame rate, uh, usually you can see these anywhere between 23 to 29.99 frames per second. Uh, you also have the aspect ratio, uh, mentioned earlier, the 16 by 9s and the 4 by 3s. Uh, if you keep the resolution, you can also change it to show what resolution you want. Now, if it says keep origin, it means it's going to keep what the original uh, origin was on the video. Whatever the video was filmed in or recorded in, that's what it's going to stay as. Uh, audio codecs is the same thing. Uh, you can pick and choose uh, the codec that you want to use and the channels, bit rates, and the sampling rate. Once you've completed your fine tuning, uh, click OK. Now here you are ready to rip. Now if you look to the right, you're going to see this window here. Now this is a preview window. And what you'll do is you can click play and it will play the video. Now you can go anywhere in a video and you, you can pick and choose. Now let's say that you want to pick a frame. You'll see this little camera right here. Uh, just click the camera and it will provide a screenshot. Now if you were to click the folder here to the right, this will open the folder where the screenshot was stored. And as you can see here, I have two of them. Next, we have the hardware accelerator. Now, the hardware accelerator means that it's going to use the hardware version of the GPU. For instance, this computer has a dedicated NVIDIA graphics card. Uh, some computers will use Intel, some computers use Radeon, uh, some computers uses NVIDIA. Uh, here, you'll have 
uh, the NVIDIA, which I have selected because that's what my computer's graphics is based on. Uh, here, I'm going to use high quality engine. This means it's going to get the most and the highest quality as possible for the ripping. Now, you also have deinterlacing, which is not something that's required to use. Uh, most softwares and uh, monitors and TVs can use uh, the standard format. Now, if for some reason that you're having problems with the conversion, you can also try to deinterlace it and see if that corrects any problems. Safe mode is used for any problems ripping a DVD. If you are having some problems, you can choose safe mode and this will allow the, the software to use a different functionality to try to rip a DVD. Now, you shouldn't have any trouble. I didn't have very much trouble with the software. So, if, but if you do come across a problem, then you could try to use safe mode to use the minimum function to get the DVD to rip. On the right here, you see CPU core. Uh, for most PCs that have multi-cores, uh, anywhere between 2 to as high as I believe 10 now, uh, this allows the software to use a set number of cores to help process the, in, the, the conversion. Since my computer has a quad-core processor in it, then I'm going to use set it to 4. Down here you have the destination folder. Uh, this is the location it's going to go to. Now remember earlier I showed you to click options where you can change at. Down here you can change it to as well or open the location. Once you've completed and have everything set up, all you have to do next is just click run. You're going to see the window pop up here, the current title that it's uh, ripping, the destination of the title, uh, the start time where it's begun, the duration that it's going to be ripping, the frames per second. Now the frames per second shows at what rate that the conversion is being processed. In this case it shows it's about 175 uh, frames per second. Now this can go anywhere between 300 to 500 frames per second. The higher the number the faster it's processing the video. Down here it shows the end time. This shows you the time that it's taken so far and the estimated time as to how long it will take to rip the DVD. It also shows the progress bar and if you want it to shut down the computer and if you want it to open the output folder when the conversion is completed. Once the conversions are complete you'll see the message that says all jobs have been completed. Just click OK and it's going to open the location of where the video was saved. Now once it's saved, you can simply open it and you can begin watching the program. Well, this concludes this video. Uh, I've shown you how simple it is to go ahead and rip your DVDs. So if you have any questions or if you're having problems with the software, uh, you can also uh, go up here to the little email icon here. And if you need to, uh, they do have uh, frequently asked uh, questions that you can check. Uh, if you do need to send an email, just click here to send email. I will have some new videos and show you how to use some of the other features on the software for WinX DVD Pl Ripper Platinum. So be sure to stay tuned as I get those videos uploaded as soon as I can. I'm Mr. Fixit from ES Repair. Thank you for watching.